Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited because I'm off to the Brit Awards. <gasps> Honestly, this has like been a dream of mine since I was so young. I've been watching it every year on TV. If you don't know what the Brit Awards is, it's a huge um, award ceremony for music artists in um, the British music industry. Actually, no, it's just for people that have been successful in Britain. I'm just so excited. If you've been following me for a while, you'll probably know that I am a music artist. I'm a singer songwriter. So obviously it's a dream of mine to be nominated to win all those Brit Awards. <laughs> no, but seriously, just to go is a dream come true. And today, I wanna get ready with you because it is tonight and I'm gonna get glammed up right now. There's gonna be so many famous people there, so many celebrities, everyone's gonna look glam. Just jumped out of the shower. I'm thinking today I'm gonna create slick back ponytail, flawless, dewy, glowing, peachy, smoky eye with a peachy lip. I'm going to do a voiceover today because I want to get in the zone, get in the mode and just be able to put my makeup on. I've only got an hour before my car picks me up and um, takes me to the hotel to get ready. I didn't even say, I'm actually going to the Brit Awards with Smashbox Cosmetics, which is so exciting. And thank you so much Smashbox for inviting me to come along with you. I've done a little bit of backstage sneak peeks on my vlog. So make sure you go over and watch my vlog that's already gone live. And um, I've done some batch batch done some backstage sneak peeks with pixie as well so thank you to caroline hirons and amanda and also all the team at pixie for inviting me so let's get right into it oh but if you're not already subscribed please do subscribe join the family and um yeah come and follow me on snapchat instagram too Mwah. and on to the voiceover so i'm looking forward to seeing me transform my basic face into something a little bit more glam and first of all i'm starting with using the sunday riley ceo face cream and this is just so beautiful i've been using this every day lately and it actually smells like oranges it's so gorgeous for the skin and a perfect base layer to prime my skin with and now i'm using the cc plus foundation this is by it cosmetics and it's so full coverage but it just looks so natural and dewy once like blended in with my damp and beauty blender i absolutely love this and then i'm going to move on to concealer and i'm actually going to use the smashbox studio skin 24 hour concealer in light so i'm going to illuminate certain areas that i want um, conceal obviously correct my color in certain areas that i want to create a little bit more of a highlight and yeah just continue to build that flawless base Now I'm using my MAC Matchmaster Concealer in a darker shade to create some contours. So when I'm going full glam and I want my contour to last all night, I do use a cream contour. And I use this in all the areas that you can see that I've painted on here, looking a bit crazy. And then I'm gonna blend that in with my Dampened Beauty Blender and just really chisel out my contours. <laughs> Not forgetting the jawline, of course, as well, because. We all want to conceal that double chin, let's be honest. Now I'm just going to set that a little bit with a powder brush. This is from Unicorn Cosmetics and my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. I'm not baking yet, I'm just kind of lightly dusting this in the areas that I will bake. And then I'm using this Tarte Amazonian Clay Airbrush Loose Powder to, again, build up some more coverage because this is just like full, full glam that we're going for. And I want to make sure that my makeup is absolutely perfection. And now I'm baking because I don't want the under eyes to crease. Of course, it's gonna be a long night. I'm gonna be in a sweaty audience. I'm gonna be laughing, talking, and cheering in the crowd. So I just wanna make sure that nothing creases. So I am gonna go OTT with that Laura Mercier translucent powder and bake, 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 baby. <laughs> also, that will also help um, with any eyeshadow fallout with the look that I'm about to create on my eyes. And if any of the heavy eyeshadow falls onto my under eye on my cheeks, I can dust it away. I'm now using the Smashbox Create and Transform palette. So this comes with like um, a few different palettes for the eyes, for the face, and for the lips. And I'm using the eyeshadow palette. I've gone in with that burnt orange colour first to just use with my fluffy brush all over my lid. And now I've gone in with a dark brown to start creating a little bit more shadow and depth and a smokiness towards my outer corner. 
still blending that all together. This isn't too much of a difficult um, eye to create. This is quite simple actually. I'm using more of a dense brush now to just pack on some dark black eyeshadow onto my lash line and I'm going to concentrate from the middle of my eye to the outer corner to create more of an almond shape. So imagine like I'm creating a cat eye flick with the eyeshadow and that just creates a really sexy sultry shape um, for the eye which is what I'm going for. Now I'm going to create um, a really simple cat flick eye with my Urban Decay Razor Sharp Eyeliner. I'm not going to go overboard with this, I'm just going to follow my lash line and just extend this towards the flick I've already created with that eyeshadow. And it's going to be really simple, nothing over the top as you can see demonstrated here. <laughs> now I'm going to highlight my brow bone and this highlighter, I love it, it's the American Drugstore brand Physicians Formula and it is the butter highlight in the shade champagne. I've been living in this, I'm not gonna lie. Now onto the brows. I'm using my one of my favorite brow products of all time. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you will know this. It's the Tarte Amazonian Clay and Brow Mousse. And this is in the shade, I think I use rich brown and medium brown. Such a beautiful brow product. And now I'm using the Le Noir Radical YSL Mascara. Actually, again, another favorite product of the moment. It's so beautiful. So just dust away all that powder now and um, you're left with a flawless base. Now onto powder contouring. So I'm using the Create and Transform kit again. This is a Smashbox kit. And from this kit, I'm using the contour and blush strip. And I'm going to go first in with that bronzy shade and just warm my skin up start to create the contours but really I'm concentrating on warming up my skin and just bringing a little bit more colour to my skin. Now I'm using more of a grey shade so this is going to really add a little bit more depth and contour to my cheekbones and then I'm just dusting a little bit of blush on. I absolutely love this contour kit and that blush is just such a perfect pinky rose color. Now back in with my Physicians Formula Butter Highlight in Champagne and this fan brush is by Unicorn Cosmetics and just look at that glow. It's just such a buttery, beautiful, like it's a highlighter that looks wet and I've said this before, I always aim for a highlighter that looks wet because it brings the skin to life rather than looking powdery so gorgeous. Now onto lashes. I've been living in these lashes. These are Miami lashes by Lily lashes. How many times do I want to say lashes? <laughs> now onto the lips. So this liquid lipstick is by Smashbox Cosmetics and it's been one of my favourite nudes of the month. I swear it's called Stepping Out and the formulation of this Smashbox liquid lipstick is just so beautiful and it stayed on all night. And of course, I'm not going to stop there because I love an ombre lip and I'm going to use the shade Barja Bound to create a really gorgeous corally ombre effect. And I'm just dabbing this into my lips to just fade it out and to create a seamless ombre look. And again, I'm not going to stop there. You know what I'm like. I'm going to top it off with some gloss. This is by Buxom Cosmetics in the shade Tonya. And it just adds a beautiful kind of plump, glossy look. And this is the finished look and I'm absolutely obsessed. <laughs> wow, I am so pleased with how this makeup look has turned out. This is the finished makeup look. Now I do need to do my hair, however my car is here, which is kind of perfect timing for the makeup, but not so much for the hair. When I get to the hotel, I've got a couple of hours to do my hair. So what I might do is um, show you the finished look when I'm at the hotel and I've done my hair and everything and um, like with the outfit, with the everything, and um, I'll do a tutorial to integrate into this video so you can see how I've transformed this short mess into a long, slick pony. I hope that you've enjoyed this so far. This is my favorite makeup look that I've done so far this year in a very long time. I just absolutely love it. And it just makes me excited to just walk that red carpet, strut my step. Okay, let me dry my hair real quick so at least I don't look so ratty. 
and the voiceover's back. <laughs> Sorry it sounds a little bit muffled and nasally. I'm actually using my laptop mic, so it's a little bit less lower quality, unfortunately. But on to the hair tutorial. So I have back combed and sprayed my roots with hairspray and these beautiful luxury hair extensions, so shiny, aren't they? They are by Beauty Works. And these are a full set of clip-in hair extensions. And these are 22 inch long and in the shade Ebony 1B. So my top tip is, do not um, clip them in the way your hair goes when it's down. So the traditional way of clipping them in. I flip my head upside down as you can see here and I actually clip them in towards the way that the ponytail is going to form. I'm gonna have a super high slick ponytail. This will mean that the extensions, um, they aren't kind of being pulled back on themselves. They're just in formation with the way that your hair is flowing towards the ponytail. And then once I've got them all in place, I use a bobble and then use remaining a remaining single hair hair extension to tie around the bobble so it just looks like seamless hair and then I use a straightener to run through to make it all smooth and even though I've got short hair you can see this blends pretty well so I hope that you've loved this tutorial my lovelies I'm so pleased with the final look please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you enjoyed it love you lots bye I'm ready guys I'm absolutely in love with everything and I'm excited